Hi, I'm Sarah Anderson, and I have an antique shop in Sonoma, California. And I was very drawn to this home. It's my favorite home in all of Sonoma, and it's one of the oldest homes in Sonoma. I think one of the first five that was ever built here from 1875. We knew we wanted to maintain the integrity of the house and not make too many changes because it's an old Victorian home, and I, I wanted to keep it as it was originally. Well, the overall focus in setting up the home was to make it very warm and inviting, like a farmhouse and just creating an environment that, that people felt comfortable that they walked in and sort of felt like they were getting a bear hug when they walked in the house, just cozy. So the entertaining space that, that I find very interesting is the dining room because we have a long trestle table in there and it's very narrow. And when I used to come and visit my friend who was the previous owner, she would have all of her neighbors sitting around the table and it was just a very fun gathering and I tried to replicate that here in this house. But of course the kitchen, everybody's always in the kitchen. so. I try to find other areas in the house where I can, you know, have cocktails and appetizers and things, but everybody always wants to follow me back into the kitchen. And it's a nice space because it's pretty large and there's a big island in the middle, so I, I don't mind. <laughs> well, everybody who walks through this house says, you need to change everything now that you have a child. And I keep thinking, well, I, that's going to be very complicated because I like the space that I live in right now and where my husband and I spend our time now in the, in the television room has a nice cushy carpet. There really isn't anything that needs to be baby proofed in that room I, and I feel that we'll spend a lot of our time in there. I had lunch with a friend and she had a dream about the baby's room and it included uh, black and white photographs of famous baseball players and great thinkers of the day. So my husband just so happened to have a collection of black and white photographs of famous baseball players and a few great thinkers of the day like Winston Churchill and JFK. My husband thought it would be a great idea to put uh, chalkboards above each of the photographs and put different words that were inspirational for a child like courage and strength. So that was very, very fun. When Pottery Barn was here, they would just recreate spaces and, and after seeing the photos behind the camera, it was just amazing the transformation that they could put this house through. And it was an enjoyable experience all the way around. The one thing that really sticks out in my mind when they were working upstairs in one of the bedrooms that I, I had finished, but when they took all of the furniture out and put it into another bedroom and put the Pottery Barn furniture in, they had a wonderful bed and a desk and, a, and, and I looked at the way that the room was situated and I thought that's how this room should be situated. So I was just about to leave town and I talked to one of the stylists and I said, when you put the room back together, because they always put it exactly as you had it before, I said, when you put the room back together, will you just be creative and put it back however you think that it should be? And so I came back home from my vacation and I was so pleasantly surprised because the room was perfect. I just love the way they would layer all these interesting objects from a throw to plants and things on the table that sort of brought all of the whole scene of the interior together. And it was very interesting to me because that's the way I like to approach my own home and, and have layers of, of interesting things that mean something to me and just make it feel like it's been lived in forever.